Anyway, in the last week, uh, the last item was a domestication of fire. Domestication of fire was the first, uh, uh, first, uh, first domestication which separated finally a uh, humankind from anim world of animals. Why? Because making devices and uh, gathering uh, something able to perform other animals. But which is the first exceptional, which only connect to the formation of human uh, ecosystem was the domestication of fire. No any other animal which is able to domesticate and using the fire. This was the first technology, if we are, we are looking at the human evolution. And which were the most important uh, devices, the peculiarity of the devices? This, this was the earth. Somehow, the first fire was able to change a microclimate, for example, in a cave, you remember the movie, or in a small island. A small distance changed the climate somehow. Uh, and the other side, uh, the humankind who domesticated and used the first generation of fire uh, used for cooking, which is the most important meaning of cooking. First, uh, activate and, and use somehow uh, uh, raw material, meals or, or uh, vegetables for eating. For example, the fire able detoxicate decrease the toxic material of uh, meat or, or, or uh, vegetables and made for human feeding, able for human feeding. This is the first one. Increase the scale of uh, feedable material. The second one, decrease the time of digestion. Somebody know how long sleeping, for example, a cat. Cat is the domesticated uh, cat or, for example, lion. Both are cats. How long sleeping? Somebody know? Per day. How many hours? Somebody living together with cats? I'm living together with three cats. Therefore, I am a practical um, experience in every day's life of me. How long? Estimation. One hours, two hours, three hours. My first question. Longer or shorter time compared with human? Longer or shorter? Who? Shorter. shorter? No. 16. 16, year, 16 hours per day. 16 hours per day. This is the optimal length of sleeping in the cave. Therefore, very good fellow living together with the cats. The cats, it's very independent animal. Compare, for example, the, with the ducks. For ducks, necessary walking at least one, but more optimal, two or three times per day. For cat, not necessary. Moreover, the cat sleeping for a long time, not for laziness, which is the reason why sleeping, for example, in a zoo or, or uh, or, or how the name is, uh, is national parks, the lion sleeping in optimal situation because feed by employees of national park, uh, lions described in African national park, 19 to 20 hours per day, only three or four times, four hours long, it's the term of activity. Why? Not for laziness. Which is the reason, in the case of cats, a long term of sleeping? Digestion. Digestion. Which is the normal menu for the cats? Flesh meat. Somebody, you tasted the flesh meat? For example, making sausages. Uh, natural sausages before the filling into the, uh, how the name is, uh, is the frame. Uh, it's a fresh meat. Nobody tasted before cooking a fresh sausage meat. Nobody. 
I remember because I spent my childhood, it's like a, like a brick inside of the stomach, like a brick. Why? Because the flesh meat digestion is very long, very heavy work for the stomach of uh, digest, uh, uh, digestive organs inside of the stomach. Uh, therefore, for example, for lions, for cats, necessary for long digestion a uh, relaxed condition. And one other reason of cooking decrease the term of digestion. Because there is a play for optim optim optimizing, uh, saving the uh, precious material, vitamin, uh, nutrition, trace element, because if somebody cooking so fast with high temperature, kill the precious material of, uh, of, uh, of meals. Therefore, for example, introduced a very special cooking methodology, uh, uh, for example, uh, cooking with low temperature for long term. There is a special term for that. Somebody know? Which is the term? I don't know. Uh, but uh, uh, some, somehow playing, optimizing, saving the, uh, saving the precious material. But the cooking decreased the term of digestion. Therefore, it's very interesting consequence of heart function of the fire, increase the term of activity of humans. Because no fresh meat somehow, uh, with help of cooking, decrease the term of digestion. Okay, torch and weapon, I spoke about in the last week. Torch and weapon, it's good devices against the animals. For example, in the movie, you, I hope you remember that the uh, early ancestor of us used a uh, um, fire as a weapon against the wolves. Because only two animals there are who didn't or don't fear from fire. It's a dead eaters. Shakal and, and hyams. Because for the dead eaters, uh, for example, savanna fire, it's a, it's a table for eating. Why? Because kill a lot of animals and the dead eaters no able to predate and, 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 uh, and other, uh, other form hunting for prey animals. Consequence, power and dependence. Each technology, power and dependence. Look at, for example, mobile phone. This is technology. Increase the competence, increase the uh, possibility of communication. But if you lose the the, the mobile, uh, lost the chance for 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 making connection. And for example, I remember in my life uh, before the uh, before the GPS and navigation uh, programs, uh, this was the normal material, normal methodology and the, and the method when I travel, for example, Czech, Czech Republic, I memorize the map. I look in the map for one day and I try to memorize uh, uh, to, the, to the structure of, of city, for example, Prague and, and Brno. Uh, I memorize the structure because it's not so complicated. Generally, the, the cities, uh, there, there are avenues, great avenues and boulevards. And in the case of Saget, there are three boulevards and five avenues. And if you able to memorize the structure of the city, uh, more or less you are able to navigate in without any GPS. But in consequence of GPS, it simplifies the navigation. Therefore, it's a dependence of the technology. Sometimes I miss the right way because I believe suggestion of GPS. Somebody had similar experiences? Yeah, it's a dependence on the technology. Because in the case, in the, in the past, in the traditional time, before the modern computer system, the people communicate with each other. For example, I stop on the highway and ask from local people, it's the right way and which is the crossroads position and so and so. Recently, everybody depend to the um, technology. And the first step toward the technological dependence was domestication of fire. Like in the movie, the small human community not able to survive without, uh, without fire. Okay, 
fewer demand, it's fewer demand, it's a quite general, but in the past, in the the Paleolithic age is no problem because everybody covered by forest. But, for example, in uh, Middle Ages was a critical problem, a, a shortage of fuel. The forest hewed down because uh, charcoal, charcoal, everybody know which, which is the charcoal? Charcoal, nobody. The charcoal fossil. Fossil. If somebody know the uh, cartoon of uh, Shushu, uh, Shushu the dragon, everybody know. Uh, uh, it's a good example. Uh, in the first episode of uh, Shushu, there is a problem which solved by the dragon. And uh, you remember the story of the charcoal maker? Charcoal maker, no? A charcoal maker, uh, uh, making a charcoal, why so important? Not for barbecue. Not for barbecue. It's a crucial problem was melting iron. For melting iron, necessary make uh, uh, seven, approximately 7,000 kilojoule energy. And a normal, uh, uh, normal tree or, 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 uh, or uh, fuel material able to produce only two to three thousand kilojoules. How solve this problem? Probably in Anatolia, recently part of Turkey, invented making charcoal, which demonstrate cartoon of Shishi, which is the main technology of the making of charcoal, making an oven covering with clay, everybody know which is the clay, okay, this is the special structure of soil, and they're making two holes of oven for smoke and for fireplace. And which is the problem which demonstrate cartoon shushi? The fire, the slow fire inside of the oven, it's burned down. Because two problems possible in the charcoal making, the fire too fast and left a small quantity of smoke. No smoke. Uh, but smoke, no, no smoke. But which is that term? It's uh, some, something burned down. Okay, it's expired, the verb, a little bit late, homo. Ashes. Ash, thanks a lot, thanks a lot. Unfortunately, no ideal date for this course. Generally, I take after uh, late, late afternoon, but unfortunately, I am waking up very early <laughs> and uh, a little bit flexibility of my brain, lost time, ash, thanks a lot. Until tomorrow, I won't <laughs> forget this word. Okay left a small quantity of ash. Other accident maybe stop the burning down and never made a charcoal. Which is the solution? Making, uh, 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 stamping on the side of our uh, shishu and push fire inside and reburn the charcoal. Why accidental problem of charcoal? Because for one unit charcoal, need 10 unit real timber material. Therefore, the contemporaries in the Middle Ages named the plague of forest. Why? When appeared for the first generation of charcoal maker, one generation enough hewing down whole of the forest. Therefore, in England, hew down the majority of forests to the end of Middle Ages. Why? Because the uh, English metallurgy necessary charcoal, increasing quantity of charcoal. Therefore, the next step, the iron industry moved to Ireland. Ireland, a Celtic country. Around England, it's an Anglo-Saxon kingdom, there are three Celtic kingdoms. Wales, Scotland, and Ireland. And uh, thus occupied by English uh, Empire quite early and became 
a province of, uh, uh, of uh, royal prince, uh, prince of Wales, her, uh, her of, uh, of, Carl, of, uh, of crown, uh, Scotland became a uh, organized somehow alliance with England at the beginning of 18th century and Ireland became the first colony, the first colony of England. And each of these Celtic, language, Celtic uh, people lost the original language, the Celtic, langu uh, Celtic language, Celtic, different Celtic dialect, and assimilate uh, to the English communication, but the dialect, uh, the local Scottish, Irish and uh, Welsh dialect basically different. Not by chance in the word, uh, computer uh, the word editor, uh, there are different dialects, 10 times I spoke about former time. But uh, when I disappeared the forest cover from England, the main island, uh, moved the iron industry to Ireland. Ireland covered huge forest area and to the uh, beginning of 18th century for one and a half century hew down and transformed the landscape even in England for fuel demand, fuel demand. And recently if we in, try to imagine and looking uh, the, the tourist catalogue about Ireland, which is the landscape, large grazing land area with small bushes, no more, but it's not natural. This is a consequence of English iron industry fuel demand. Therefore, the fuel demand may be a crucial problem and transform the landscape even. Okay, pollution. Pollution, it's obviously, it's a great problem. Not only the pollution, but ash. Yeah, here, <laughs> a little bit later, I realized. Uh, the most critical material, the most critical ashes, is the nuclear ashes. Probably you know that it's a crucial problem in the nuclear plants how safe and how and which place take the nuclear ashes. For example, uh, when I was a student of Second University, I studied partly geography and uh, history. I remember that uh, in, on that time in the 80s had two German countries. Western Germany and Eastern Germany. And I remember a Western Germany constructed a lot of nuclear plants and the nuclear ashes exported to Eastern. And then unified to Germany, received back the nuclear ashes. And recently, after the unification to Germany, exported the nuclear ashes to Morocco. Because saving this material very, very expensive. Making the original nuclear materials, the heating materials of nuclear plants, the same expense that saving the nuclear ashes. Okay, step. If we are looking at uh, human evolution, one of the most important indicators, how increase the brain, size of the brain. Uh, the starting position approximately 5,000 uh, milliliter or, or cubic centimeter. This is the normal level of Homo erectus. As I demonstrated with the uh, tree of human evolution, the human evolution play on the same time in different subspecies. And you can see Homo erectus increase. Homo uh, Neanderthalensis, Homo sapiens, step by step by step. And there is a very interesting, to the first point of view, contradictory information. It's possible I ask you a uh, former time, but I'm not sure. The size of brain of women is a smaller size of brain of male. I ask, no, I didn't speak, okay, my question. My guess today, not the first. Why smaller the brain of female compared with the male? This is not a sexism, this is the biological fact. Yeah, this is the normal reaction. It's a man on the audience, it's very proud. 
and you. <laughs> Since the elementary school, <laughs> my brain is larger one. <laughs> Why? Because the female a little bit smaller. And each organ, the ears, the nose, the hands, even the brain, the size, not the capacity. Only the smaller, uh, shorter, uh, and the smaller male has a smaller brain. This no no qualitative reason. Only everything larger or smaller. Which is the proportion with the body of female? Which is the how many person smaller? according to your experiences, the body of female, how many person? But there are heroic counter example. For example, uh, I had a um, niece of my mother uh, was 134 kilograms. And his uh, husband only 60. In family average was Optimal, but the distribution not so. <laughs> My question: In the human species, which is the differences between average size of male, average size of female? How many person? I spoke about yet which is the differences between the uh, continental and the American education system. No? I spoke, no, no, not yet. Yeah, but very interesting because I taught uh, at the Central Euro European, European University. This was the first experiences I met personally with uh, American students and Canadian students. And uh, uh, generally in the education system had two strategies. The first is a continental strategy. We know the German education system, which is the typical German uh, education system based on the hierarchy and based on the passing information and testing information. Therefore, the students from the kindergarten are continuous pressure, pressure, pressure of parents and pressure of teachers. Everything would like survive on the pressure. And uh, for example, a, a personal behavior, when I taught at the Central European University, it's very high proportion. I was able to identify the student came from which education system. Because the continental socialized, it's true for the German and, uh, and uh, Czech and uh, Hungarian and Albanians, would like survive only. Avoid the eye contact and save the vital organs. Would like survive only. No, no higher target for the prisons of uh, lecture. And the American student, American student, no based to learning huge quantity of information. No memory test based education system. Much more based to the communication. For example, there are a uh, uh, discipline of uh, communication, media, and, uh, and uh, for example, rhetorical studies, and so and so. Therefore, it's simplification. American students, uh, very minimal knowledge, but great ambition. This is a typical American profile. But very interesting, I had an American student, a, a Michelle Stewart, uh, it's part of, he, she participated in a lot of my courses, and on the first time, it's very good because I take my, one question, American student rose our hands. Why? Because we would like to communicate, and they told something very boring and very bad information, the Mongolians activate, uh, this is the ambition of, uh, of, uh, of rivalry, and, and launch a communication. But very interesting, in the third course, which uh, uh, recorded uh, Michel, uh, a lot of times I guess, and generally 
uh, Stuart Mitchell was the first one, rose uh, her hands. And once, because lived two years in Hungary, in Budapest, rose the hands and asked, yeah, is she? And, oh no, it's possible. Because the local atmosphere, step by step, destroyed the American style ambition. Okay, but turn back. We socialized in continental education system, which was the question, how many percent the differences? Quite minimal. Quite minimal compared with other species. Only 10 to 20 percent, the differences uh, between the size of body. But uh, it's a little bit more informal than looking at the first uh, point of view. Why? Because these differences uh, orient to the direction of monogamy. You know which is the monogamy. Living to together in the size, in the form of, uh, of uh, uh, family. And the male, the husband, participate the breeding of baby. Because the human baby not able to survive without collaboration of parents. And uh, my question, a little bit far from the, uh, from the Paleolithic age, in the traditional time, according to your opinion, how long spent a, 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 how the name is, a marriage? How long was the validity of marriage? For example, in the Middle Ages, in early modern times, in antiquity, how long live in marriage the husband and his wife? How long? How many years? One, two, three, four, five, seven, six, ten, hundred, two hundred, three hundred. How long? You know the numbers, I suppose. Yes. <laughs> This is the minimal criteria for us. More than 10. More than 10. 10 plus other offer. Okay, 7. Good approach. 7. Why? Because very high the mortality, husband or wife, dead. And majority of people remarried. Probably you know the story of, uh, of uh, 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 Istvan Széchenyi. When Istvan Széchenyi, the greatest Hungarian, who wrote his diary in German, but it's other story, uh, the greatest Hungarian married only once. But for his wife, he was uh, the second husband, and uh, uh, for husband, first husband of, uh, of, uh, of this girl, uh, I, I don't remember her name, uh, she was the fourth wife. It's a mosaic structure, it, but typical in the traditional time. Because if we are looking at the life expectancy recently, which is the prob for which generation the problem of the, of the death? All people. All people. But in the traditional time, the real question was, and real probability was, for each generation, the death. For epidemics, for war, for, for accident, uh, for example, looking uh, in front of him or her, one bull or other wild animals. Therefore, a uh, validity of marriage, seven years. Why? for death one of the member of marriage, wife or husband. My question, recently, how long is a marriage, if somebody married? How long living together, the modern couple, recently in Hungary, how long? You are before. Seven years. Seven years. Seven years. But how close in the marriage? We divorce. But if somebody asks the validity of term of marriage, it's, there is a general prejudice 
are on the past live together for decades. Yet, only one special period. At the turn of 19th and 20th century, live together for decades. Why? Because the modern curing increased the life expectancy and security of survival for younger generation. But the custom and the lifestyle didn't change. Didn't change. But use some technology shortening the life. For example, um, you know the story of, uh, of uh, women in Great Hungarian, uh, Great Hungarian plain was a, a special crime of uh, women with arsine. It's a poisonous, uh, uh, liquid poisonous material, arsine, you know. You know this story? After the First World War, a lot of soldiers arrived back crippled useless for the agrarian society and majority of them because it's a classical post-traumatic symptom became drunk out you know which is the drunk out it's a, some form, form of, some defi uh, definition of some, some term of alcoholism therefore it was a great weight weight for the family therefore poured a little bit poisonous material and killed. This is a much better solution, a divorce, to my approach anyway. Therefore, it was a, a transition period when increased the term of marriage, but somehow it's a seven year, the validity, and according to psychologists who specialize to the marriage crisis, the seven year is a critical term, the critical time you are before, I suppose, I am in the second marriage. Therefore, I speaking on the base of my practical experiences. Uh, anyway, the seven years is a critical term. Why mention in the problem, on the side of the problem of uh, uh, paleolithic age? Because in the case of children, a child, even the paleolithic age, after the seventh anniversary became independent. Why? Because able running on the same rhythm than the clan, able gathering uh, uh, edible vegetables and the fruits and, and everything, therefore, the, after seventh anniversary, there is a chance for survival. Or I socialized in the peasant, almost traditional peasant society, and around seven years, turn in the household working, uh, working, uh, working uh, uh, organization. Therefore, uh, I was, for example, seven years old when I was a shepherd of our two cattle, two cows. And because seven years, uh, boy able to gardening uh, domesticated cows for half a day. This is the socialization for peace and working. Somehow, seven years is a critical, each dimension of family, marriage, validity, uh, socialization, and, and uh, personal evolution of, of, uh, of children, and so and so. Okay, this is the trajectory of uh, brain growth, and the first domesticated animal was a dog. But recently, uh, in the last uh, uh, years, I read articles and studies that not only dogs try to domesticate. Uh, somebody know which other animals try to domesticate the first human in the Paleolithic age, besides the dogs. Dogs was the successful domestication from, uh, domesticated from, from wolf. But I was very surprised, it's possible I told to you, that uh, dog is not an independent species. But the part of wolf. Dog is a subspecies of wolf. It's very surprising. Take to each, uh, beside each other a wolf and a chihuahua dog. Very far. But member 
of the same species. Both are wolves. Are wolves. And somehow it's a demonstrate because, because in my family, in my village, uh, on the neighborhood live a uh, very small dog. Uh, it's a Tochko, I don't know which is the English term, and a Hungarian species, a Kuvas. And the female was a Kuvas, it's very large, very strong body, and the Tachko was the was a male. And the owner never was imagine that any sexual practice is feasible at salt. And perform such very special dogs like in the Lego toy with Kuvas head <laughs> on Tachko body <laughs> and turn back. <laughs> And uh, unfortunately, the owner was a hunter and killed every uh, small. Uh, uh, how the name is? Uh, so, uh, offspring. Okay, uh, but estimated date of domestication happened. Uh, uh, I close the question. Which other animals tried domesticate by human? <coughs> Besides dog. No idea? Fox. Fox. For example. Because on the burials, re, uh, reconstructed uh, uh, in archaeological sites, tried to domesticate the foxes similarly. But no successful. But the dogs, uh, which was the strategy of domestication? For example, you know uh, that, uh, and, and domesticated finally, the cats like uh, we can enjoy uh, recently, but which is the strategy of domestication? You know, how perform the domestication? Who, do, who are living together with dogs and, and cats? No? Great, great adventure. Because, uh, for example, I have a cat, three cats recently, but I have a favorite, the Jija. Uh, I found, it, I spoke about it, Jija, not yet. Uh, Jija, I found, uh, uh, she was uh, 10 years old, 10, 10 days old, 10 days old, because uh, her mother died. And we found on the, on the court, uh, on, near to our, our building. Therefore, I am her mother and father and uh, fed with uh, artificial material and uh, she learned my life and the uh, rhythm of my life. For example, every day, every, every day, wake me up around six o'clock, jump to my chest and take a kiss. This is the, like, for example, in the, uh, I don't know which is the uh, fairy tale, Sirandella which is uh, sleeping or, or waking up for the kiss of Prince, not Siranda. And you know which story, a Hungarian name is Cipke Ruzsika. I am uh, in this uh, uh, construction of Cipke Ruzsika and uh, unfortunately uh, sometimes I am not able waking up for the first kiss. <laughs> and therefore, Zizha take the paw on my, uh, on my uh, mouth and uh, uh, his, uh, how the name is, uh, nails pushing inside of my mouth. Generally, my eyes is open. <laughs> it's a very feasible technology. And, uh, and okay, but uh, probably you don't know because my favorite cat over domesticated because after his birth met with me for 10 days, after 10, day, 10 days, approximately. But a cat, normal domesticated European or Persian or, or Siamese cat, for free mouth, don't met with human, it's not possible domesticate. Therefore, the critical period, free mouth. Okay, but look at the process of domestication. A Russian, a Russian tried to modelize 
in the 20th century, the process of domestication. Uh, in Siberia, had a, a silver fox factory. You know which is the silver fox. It's raw material for making a very expensive, very precious coat of fur. Okay. And uh, in the fur factory, fur factory, fur factory had a lot of accidents. Why? Because silver foxes bite the hand of employees and the employees of the, of the factory. Therefore, the local engineers decided to domesticate the silver fox, which was the strategy of domestication. Each animal, until the end of second month, the hippopotamus, lion, every, every animal, white animals, peaceful, until the second month anniversary. After the second month, step by step, construct a personal identity and launch the rivalry with uh, uh, each animals of environment, even the human. Therefore, until the second month, looking for example, YouTube video, a small cute lions, very peaceful and very pretty, but a dark lion, it's very fearful and very, very strong and very aggressive in normal situation. Therefore, the strategy of Russian engineers was fixing the psychological profile before the second month anniversary. If some animals bite the hand of employees, launch to the factory and make fur coat from the body. And uh, for 40, 40 years domesticated a uh, silver uh, fox, but had a small accident. The color of fur changed. And the structure of body became similar to the dogs. Therefore, the uh, experiment is successful because to the final generation behave like a dog, but the most important goal of the domestication is uh, uh, breeding a uh, domesticated, domesticated silver fox fail because the nature of fur became a dog-like with different colors, no so silver, white color like uh, original domesticated animals. But which is the strategy of domestication? Because in the case of uh, dogs had a lot of different, like chihuahua, like for example, uh, different uh, bear hunter uh, of Caucasian, uh, shepherd, dogs, and a lot of, lot of different animals. Strengthen a uh, uh, character which help a uh, activity which um, would like to perform by animals. For example, shepherd animals, for example, hunting animals. Strengthen uh, these kind of characters. And which is the technology of the strengthening the, uh, the, the, the uh, character which was uh, fortifying. Breeding early uh, near relatives. This is the reason why are a typical sickness of different subspecies of, uh, of, uh, of dogs because uh, if, some, if two near are uh, uh, or the linkage connection, the hurty DNA chain covering uh, uh, with each other and they made a species or subspecies typical sickness. I hope you understood which I would like to tell. Anyway, it's domesticated according to DNA reconstruction uh, probably 100,000 years ago and the first archaeological evidences had from 60,000 years. And very important, 
because which is the most important uh, advantage of uh, of uh, of dogs a smelting a smelting much better a smelting sensitivity compared with human for example the uh, the the sensor of nose in the case of human approximately same size same size like my my uh, my, my hand in the case of dogs like a football a football field much much more sensitive uh, okay uh, some picture about uh, a strategy of domestication uh, probably it is, was the main way of domestication orphan everybody know which is the orphan killed the mother uh, and uh, left uh, alone and uh, uh, wolf cubes domesticated wolf like domesticated uh, and uh, there is other strategy of domestication a self domestication for example probably the pigs domesticated themselves why because uh, around the camp of human had a lot of waste which is not digestible for the human but the white pigs is walking to the camps and ate the waste of human therefore probably the pigs domesticated themselves uh, dogs domesticated by humans but pigs domesticated themselves and followed the human camps this way okay uh, beside the, the dogs uh, try to domesticate the foxes and the jackals in uh, for example America try to domesticate the jackals everybody know jackals shotgun okay uh, very interesting looking in long term dimension the human evolution the step step by step if we are looking for example if using indicator the human devices human tools with, which made by early hunter how sophisticated uh, early generation it started uh, approximately 2.5 million years ago appeared the first uh, human made devices made by Australopithecus uh, on the uh, threshold of appearance of Homo erectus a little bit improved the quality of uh, Homo uh, of, uh, of tools and devices but very interesting almost for 1 million years long term use the same technology and use the same tools no technological changing but some, somewhere here this is the great leap the great jump period happened something it's happened approximately no uh, exact dating but it's happened somehow 60 to 70 thousand years before Christ something it was a very critical period of human evolution because it, I hope you remember it's a human evolution unfolded on the time of great ice age great ice age it's a place that's in ice age as a geographer name it's ice age period a polar ice cover increase and reached even the northern boundary of European continent and for example Carpathian Basin the greatest vegetation was a grassland no any other only grassland and from north it's ice cover on the time of course in Africa wasn't a, a cold epoch but in consequence of global climate changing in regional dimension appeared drought dry period dry period and the long drought period decreased the human ecosystem and on this critical period decreased the human population whole of the world mainly Africa to 5,000 people it was a critical because it's a critical level for extinction extinction whole of the human race and it was a very very special uh, period from the change of DNA structure of human probably you know 
or not, that each of human who living recently on the world came from one woman and one man. It's scientific fact, which is the nature of scientific fact, no finer cognition. Only a mirror of recent knowledge is about the world. But when reconstructing a human DNA, DNA 2003, step by step increased the experiments from the human DNA. And according to recent condition of DNA reconstruction, each of human who participated in the DNA, it's quite uh, no expensive. If you would like to uh, know your ancestor, 2,000 Hungarian for it. Expense of DNA, a simple DNA reconstruction. And, of course, with help of spontaneous and official DNA reconstruction, increase, increase the database of DNA profile. And on base this DNA profile, reconstructing that everything who is in this example, in these experiments, came from one woman, it's a scientific fact which based to this DNA reconstruction, lived somewhere in 160 thousand years ago, plus minus ten thousand years, of course, because no so reliable dating, and the one uh, male who lived in between sixty to seventy thousand years. The old women, Eve, according to biblical approach, no so much information, much more compared with the Paleolithic uh, dimension from the hunter who lived in very critical period of human evolution. Why is so important? Because according to DNA reconstruction, the male who our ancestor had a very special uh, physical and intellectual capacity. And transform whole of population, surviving population, uh, mental, physical profile. Sci science fiction author enjoy because uh, uh, a lot of science fiction novel there is it's not a human hunter but a alien from the space who manipulated the yeah, it's Look at, for example, practical level. Uh, why is so interesting for us? Because this superman was able to change the DNA and the, and the intellectual and physical profile of human because the population so small. If recently, for example, in this audience, not me, but possible you there is a, a special physical and intellectual capacity and DNA and so not able to change the life of, of uh, humankind why because recently we are living eight million or billion American English therefore the human population behave like a great ocean launch away but the dimension and the, and, the, and the height of the wave is smaller, smaller, and smaller. The positive mutation, which happened in 60 to 70 years, uh, thousand years ago, maybe transform, might be transform the humans recently. No, we are not able, because too large, too large. And, 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 uh, and the smoothing, smoothing down any positive or negative form of mutation. Okay, but this was a great leap, great leap, and a lot of innovation appeared after the uh, appearance of the Superman. For example, after the great leap appeared a very, very sophisticated tools. 
appeared a uh, musical uh, devices, musician devices. Appeared a burio. Why so important the burios? Because it showed some imagination from other world, which maybe after the death of humans. And beside the body, taking some years, something which helped the dead uh, relatives to the other world, on the other, on the heaven or on the hell. Appear uh, arts, for example, cave painting. Cave painting, the function of the cave painting, it's, uh, uh, it's uh, discussed, but uh, somehow an uh, early form of the, of, the, of the art. Anyway, this is a great, great civilization, leap, great jump. Okay, look at the most important, finally made tools. Up here, the fishing. It's, it's somebody uh, tried the fishing, it's uh, not so uh, efficient compared with the hunting. Uh, evidence of long distance trade and the barter, somehow early trade, systematic use of pigment of the body because the <coughs> somebody it's uh, uh, in the dry environment uh, uh, survived uh, and, uh, and reconstructed the skins of the body uh, and uh, reconstructed some uh, using of pigment and self ornamentation. Figurative of cave painting, as I mentioned. Petroglyphs uh, and figurine made in a, a, a small sculpture, game playing and appearance, appearance of music, and finally a burials, which I mentioned. Yeah, uh, this is the picture and the connection line of uh, mitochondrial Eve. Sorry, it's a, I missed not uh, 160 but 140 and uh, 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 Eden who lived approximately, but it's not, uh, it's, it's estimation only, not a final date, 6,000 years ago. And this is the uh, proliferation of human, came from the cradle of humankind, from Africa, and proliferated everywhere on, on the world. The last time, 10,000 years ago, appeared the southern part of the South America. Okay, uh, how close are invited, how close the environmental change, uh, uh, how close the place to the ice age and how change the physical environment in consequence of the closing of, uh, of uh, ice age. The first one changed the climate, became warmer. The second one, in consequence of warming, uh, melted the great ice cover around the northern and southern pole and rose a uh, sea level. Not only one, two meter, 100 meter. 100 meter rose a uh, sea level. Ob obviously, in consequence of climate change, change the flora and fauna and geological and isostatic moving. Uh, this is the picture about uh, sea level changing, and you can see 100 meter after the last period of Pleistocene ice age up, up of uh, ice of uh, sea level, not by chance, each mythology had a flood story. For example, flood story in Africa, flood story of Noah in the Bible, Old Testament of the Bible, and Sumerian people had a flood story because the closing of Ice Age started rising of, uh, rising of uh, water level. Uh, probably uh, the flood story, as I mentioned at the beginning of this course, came from the rising of Mediterranean Sea and later the Black Sea. Uh, if we are looking a most detailed picture about the sea level, I call your attention to these uh, uh, stairs. Step, step, why? Because a great body of ice melted very quickly, up, will be 100 or not 100, some uh, 10 meters jump up the sea level after the melting a uh, huge body of ice and step by step, by step reach the recent level of global ocean. The flora is uh, from the equator uh, occupied north and south part. This on the time of Pleistocene and on the time after the Pleistocene occupied a uh, vegetation period north 
and South Park from Equator. Uh, and a uh, very interesting period that uh, recently the, one of the largest desert all of the world in the Sahara Desert. But very interesting, after the uh, closing of Pleistocene Ice Age, for more thousand years long period, a Sahara had a very fertile savanna area. Not by chance, in the earth area of Sahara, there are petroglyphs with deers, with elephants, with hunter, with fishing people. Why? Because, you know, this, uh, not green, uh, it's a blue, uh, small spot. Somebody know which is the blue, small Lake spot? Chad. Lake Chad. Lake Chad. A Lake Chad, on that time, after the closing period of Ice Age, was the same size like Black Sea. Inner sea on Africa. Great, great sea, the size was the same like Black Sea. But in consequence of the de desiccation of Sahara Desert, changed the climate, smaller, smaller, smaller. And recently almost near to the disappearance. And why so important for, from the human evolution? Because the first workers of uh, uh, culture of, uh, of Egypt on the valley of Nile, immigrant, climate immigrant, who escaped from Sahara and in the fertile valley of the Nile, tried to survive. Therefore, a climate migration is a very old era of the human history. Look at, for example, Old Testament. A Jew was a climate migrant, similarly before the Moses, but they emigrated from the Near East, from the older period, older area of Syrian desert. Each area and to the direction of uh, Mesopotamia escaped the people in consequence of, of uh, desert application. Good. Uh, uh, look at the consequence of closing of Ice Age. For example, one important consequence of closing of Ice Age are uh, extinction and disappearance of animals which were a typical animals of Ice Age. For example, extinction of, uh, of uh, large mammals like uh, uh, woolly mammoths, like for example, uh, how the name is, uh, sword, li sword teeth uh, lions, uh, and so on and so on. But very interesting, the proportion of the disappearance of large animals, very different in different continents. In South America, uh, 46 large mammals disappeared from 58. Therefore, 75%, almost 75% of large animals disappeared. Camels, horses, wolves, lot of animals. In the case of uh, Australia, similarly, 15 large animals from 16 disappeared. In, here, in Europe, more, dominate, more, more moderate the rate of extinction, 7 only from uh, 23. In Africa, similarly, Sub-Saharan Africa, two species disappeared from uh, 40, uh, 44. Large, large animals, which is the reason a uh, very high proportion of South and North America. In North America, 33 extinct species from 45. The most important reason, appearance of human, because in Americas, Northern and Southern part of Americas, no human, no human before a uh, closing period of Ice Age. The first human in Americas appeared, there are a discussion in this case, uh, 30 to 40,000 years before recent time, before prison, before prison. And the human arrived to Chile, to the southern part of, uh, of uh, America, 10,000 years ago only. Why killed? 
why killed so much animal, the newcomers in America? About these, there are uh, Pleistocene extinction theory with three arguments, three causes, three reasons. The first one, a climate change. A climate change killed a normal ecosystem for the woolly mammoths and animals who assimilated and, and, uh, uh, and made the strategy of survival for the condition of, uh, of ice age. Okay, it's evident. The second one, overkilling. Overkilling. What mean the overkilling? Around the humans, uh, okay, I spoke about the, the period of, uh, of environmental protection yet? Not, not. Okay, uh, if we are looking at environmental protection, existed each period of human of uh, human evolution the first period a mythological environmental protection a mythological environmental protection mean that the people in the paleolithic age in the antiquity imagine that behind the spark be, uh, behind the spring the wells the uh, mountain the forest there are angel or, or some mythological deeds, mythological uh, creature. And if somebody hurt the river, the lake, the forest, the mythological sorry, creature will punish. This is the mythological uh, environmental protection. First. The second one, a rational environmental protection. This is the period of formation of state. If somebody, for example, hewing down a tree in the royal forest, or killing, uh, for example, a lion, cut the hand, cut down the hand. This is the rational. There are a legal, legal regulation, or later in the time of civilization, necessary to pay fees if somebody hurt the physical environment. This is the second rational environmental protection, second period. And the third period, is the environmental consciousness. The people don't hurt the physical environment because able to realize hurt him or herself. Okay, this is the postmodern form of uh, environmental protection. On the traditional age, on the uh, Paleolithic age, we are in the mythological, mythological environmental protection. But the people who arrived from Euro-Asia, a newcomer in America, no time to making a tradition of mythological environmental protection. Therefore, if looking one animal killed this animal and wandering toward. Therefore, the newcomers, the new human communities disturb the balance ecological balance of America. And very surprising, when a Spanish conquer, conquistador arrived in the mid, late Middle Ages, early modern time, to America, only four larger, no, five larger animals survived to place that in over a uh, A grizzly bear, a uh, bison, a uh, llama, vicuña, and alpaca. No more, no more. Only five large animals survived the great wave of human immigration to Americas. Moreover, the human community and the domesticated dogs transported bacteria, viruses, and fungi which no natural immunity of local fauna, local animals. Therefore, these consequences in Australia and the uh, Americas cancel almost whole of the large mammal population or large animal population. Okay, this is the trajectory of human migration in two directions left Europe, uh, on the Sinai Peninsula and Gibraltar. I call your attention on the time, on the very, very cold period of Ice Age, whole of the, 
whole of the almost whole of the uh, Mediterranean Sea dried out, dried out. This is the story of the flood Noah period. Rose, rose, rose the water level, filled the water of ocean first inside the Mediterranean Sea, later to uh, via uh, Bosporus uh, to, Med to Black Sea and, co and, and, uh, and uh, made a Black Sea area and killed probably, it was a natural disaster, uh, uh, destroyed a uh, local population. Okay, yeah, but one question. In the immigration to America, it's no problem. Why? Because low level of global ocean, it was a land bridge. Therefore, the first immigrant to Americas arrived on the natural land bridge. But, but my guess, my question, an uh, immigrant to Australia, how was able sailing to Australia? Because from the southeast island, even from the southeast island, not and uh, wasn't visible the coast of Australia. And the first generation of immigrants had to sail one week in the open ocean to the direction of Australia, reaching the coast. How supposed, how was able to suppose sailing, for example, south uh, eastward, we will find a continent or island, which undirect evidence is had. Not visible. Cheers. For example, leaving somebody in Malaysia and looking southeastward and realize probably in this direction there is a continent or large island. How? Wandering birds. Year by year, a lot of birds wandering in this direction. One. This is, for example, this was the uh, way of uh, discovery, one undirected evidence is for way of discovery of Greenland in North Atlantic Ocean. Which other? Which is the greatest disaster in Australia? If you remember, each year, there is a great disaster happening in Australia. Which great disaster? Natural disaster. Bushfires, great fires. And which is the consequence of uh, uh, great area burning down? Smoke towers, which visible from very far. Therefore, too undirected. But very brave people were who say on the open ocean with very small uh, boats for one week in the right direction based the theory to undirect evidences. Direction of wandering of birds and small towers. And finally found and occupied Australia. This was the first generation of Aboriginals. Um, okay, if we are looking at the great migration of human, the first uh, human subspecies who left Africa, Homo erectus, as I mentioned, and the second one, Homo sapiens. Sapiens, uh, this is the migration of Australia, uh, happened uh, uh, between 60 to 12,000 uh, years ago. Uh, it's very large gap there are because this is hypothesis and this is the real archaeological evidence based dating. Okay, this is uh, Animation, I hope. Yeah, yeah. It's animation. How how transform a bearing strait, uh, a bearing land bridge to bearing state. This is the uh, calendar you can follow. Rose rising and rose, uh, rose a uh, water level, a sea water level, and separate Eurasia from uh, from uh, uh, Americas. Okay, 
Uh, this is the story we are over, Aboriginals' immigration to us, Australia. If we are looking <coughs> at human evolution, one obvious approach, how change the population. In the Paleolithic age, estimate the human population 1 million, Neolithic age 10 million, Bronze Age 100 million, Industrial Revolution at the beginning of the 19th century 1 million, and the final uh, is uh, not final, but uh, the question is when we'll reach uh, 10 billion. Uh, about the problem of uh, voter of, uh, of uh, overpopulation, I spoke about. No? Yes. Okay, we are over. Therefore, according to modern uh, historical demographical approach, we'll stabilize the human population somehow between 12 to uh, 16 million or billion people, according to modern uh, population forecast. Okay, other interesting, it's only a peculiarity, uh, how changed a landscape in consequence of closing uh, Ice Age. Uh, it's happened in Scandinavia. Somebody visited in Scandinavia yet? Not? Very interesting place, very special, very different uh, from the continental standard. Anyway, on the time of Ice Age, whole of the Scandinavian peninsula covered a very deep ice cover. In consequence of that, because the nature of globe, nature of Earth, is flexible, a little bit flexible. Not I am jumping, it's a, uh, it's a pushing down, but a huge quantity of ice able change the form of the, of, the, of the Earth. How? Structure of the Earth we can describe with help of free zone. This is the core area which made iron. This is the mantle area, a mantle area form material which we can test on the uh, time of volcano activities. It's very high temperature uh, melted uh, rock materials. And the cover is a crust. It's a, uh, it's a solid cover of the, of, the, of the earth. And when a large weight of ice cover is covering some part of the, of the crust, the crust behave like a flexible material and pushing down. In the Scandinavia happened this, this uh, situation and approximately with 250 meters the long weight of ice cover pushed down. Of course melted ice cover and recently Scandinavia is rising up. One meter per century. Therefore, recently 120 meter higher the position compared with the closing period of uh, Ice Age, but year by year, century by century rising. Therefore, a Scandinavian country's territory continuously growing without any war, any uh, uh, how the name uh, uh, any, any kind of the of the of the of the uh, I would like to tell something any, any form of conquering uh, on the on the on the uh, against the, the neighborhood but uh, how the name is uh, Anyway, so. Violence. Uh, violence. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. It's very late. Uh, any form of the violence, uh, uh, not necessary for for increase the size of the of the country. Uh, it's uh, there is a very old song from the 80s. The word the word don't come easy. If you would like to <laughs> realize this clip of the movie, oh, not movie is a clip of uh, of a musician team in, from the 80s, and I feel I. <laughs> Uh, the record of this movie recently is going on my head. Okay, no, without any kind of the violence able to increase uh, the size of the country. But it's a, only a peculiarity uh, of the consequences of the uh, closing of, uh, of, uh, of uh, Ice Age. Anyway, the time is expired. 
thanks a lot for your collaboration. Uh, 